Hey, another big step out of the pandemic for Oregon and Washington. Statewide mask requirements dropped in healthcare facilities for doctors and nurses and other staff, as well as patients and visitors. And with that, Queen Six wants to know whether healthcare facilities will choose to keep those mask requirements in place in certain situations. Lisa Baylick looking into this and joins us now. And I know, Lisa, you've covered this for some time. You mentioned <laughs> that they would have that option. Yes, and you know, you better keep a mask handy in your purse or your pocket. It can still be required to protect those most at risk of getting really sick or dying from COVID. Masks no longer required across the board in hospitals, doctor's offices, waiting rooms. The statewide requirement dropped for the providers as well. But you'll still see plenty of healthcare workers choosing to keep their masks on when working with patients. Hospitals tell me they're keeping masks in place for all high-risk areas like cancer treatment, transplants, radiology, and asking anyone with cold-like symptoms or a cough to mask up. Also, if you've been exposed to someone with COVID or are recovering from it. Patients, by the way, can also choose to require anyone from a caregiver to a visitor to put on a mask. And what we do is uh, ask the patients on admission in the ED or you know wherever they're coming from if they would like their caregiver to wear a mask. Um, or if they identify themselves as immunocompromised or their clinician identifies them as immunocompromised, then we will put up signage. I found out mask requirements may even be different in different counties based on illness there. Different regions are interpreting it and different um, areas are interpreting it based upon risk of transmission, you know, how much they have going on in their community, um, what services they offer. Outside of healthcare facilities, it's still up to businesses to decide if they want to still require it. Doctors say there are those who should put one on in public, especially if you have those cold-like symptoms or want to protect vulnerable friends and family members. For sure, if you are someone in a higher risk category, maybe you're on the older side, maybe you have diabetes, maybe you're heavy, maybe you have any number of immunocompromising conditions, you should wear masks really when you're in public. Now, the advice from doctors that I speak with all the time about COVID say, look, anytime you're in a crowded area from a store, especially a waiting room where it's filled with sick people, putting on a mask is a good idea. So keep one handy. And even if you're in a crowded area like a store and you're feeling uncomfortable, kind of that hair goes up on the back of your neck, like I'm not comfortable. I'm hearing people coughing, sneezing, whip the mask out. It's a good idea. Yeah, I keep them in my glove compartment in my car. <laughs> Lisa Balick, thank you.